Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently about quarter past four on Monday the 19th of December. So I guess this is going to kind of cover my, my Christmas as well. So I'll take my camera with me uh, when I go to visit my mum. So that would be good. Uh, Shay and I are having a little Christmas of our own. We've got some presents for Biggie as well. So I'll, I'll try and do some footage of that. That's probably going to be on Wednesday, so in two days. I'm currently reading The Prodigy by Herman Hesse. I'm very near the end of that now. After that, I'm going to read uh, A Sense of Wonder by John Wyndham and various other people. So there is that. Um, and I think that's all I've got for you. I've got a, a client Q&A caller in 45 minutes, which I'm not particularly looking forward to because I'm not in a very peopley mood. But hey-ho, I'm going to make it work. So that's where we're at. Dane reads. All right, we've had some uh, apple. Mould apple juice, vegetables and potatoes over there. Got this little lot ready to go. I'm gonna do some stuffing, and then we're gonna go open some presents. Hopefully with Biggie. Shay's here, but she's shy. But we're gonna open some presents. How should we start? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I have loads of presents as well. That sack is all mine from my mum as well. Oh, nice. One. So we got that. Maybe we'll start with that. I'll do one from my mum. Can you film me, please? No. Biggie! Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> well, this is a book. Is it? No, it's not a book. I don't know what it is. Dane Love Mom. Hey, Google. Stop music. Oh, I see what it is. That's cute. Got a big Aww. D. <laughs> cute. Yeah. We need a Biggie down here. These, these are all for Biggie here. Those are for you. What's in this? Is this? That is just my bag. Just bag. <laughs> yeah, that's got nothing interesting in okay, it. Okay, pop that over there. All right. I, I guess I'll, I've got loads of presents, so I'll just go through all these. Mm. I have more waiting for me in Tamworth, apparently. As well. <gasps> what? Lucky. I know. Biggie! Oh, it's a hot sauce extreme. Oh, nice one. Naga Jolokia. Yeah. Hey, Biggie. <gasps> Hi. That's. The hottest chili in the world, I think. Strange. Scotch bonnet, I like that. It tastes nice. Okay, Biggie. Well, should we open one of your presents now? Should we open one of Biggie's presents? Mm -hmm. Okay. For the only reason he's done her. Yeah. Do you wanna? Maybe if I if I open the presents that Santa Shay got for him, and Shay opens the presents that Santa Dane got for him. So? Sure. Yeah. I only got him one thing though. I thought. That's all right. I, I've got all these to open. Mm -hmm. Okay. Biggie, Santa Shay is gonna gonna help you, I think. I think he's at the very bottom. These are mostly for you. Okay. Well, let's start. Biggie, you gotta come over here. You gotta come over here. Sorry, my massive wadge of presents are getting in your way. Which one? Okay. I wrote it down and put. Oh, it I was gonna. Places. You you open you open this one from Santa Dane first. I don't know what it is. What is it? This one. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of what for me. What's this, Biggie? This is for you. You need to help Shay Shay. Biggie, I need your claws, please. I remember it now. If it was socks, he wouldn't wear yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, look, Biggie, look. I think he's got catnip in it. Do you like it? Oh, he likes it. Does it win the Biggie seal of approval? Yeah. <laughs> I think it does have catnip in it. Yeah, I think it does. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah, he likes to play. Okay, shall I open one from my mum or one from you? Uh, up to you. I'll go for one from mum. For now. Oh, oh no! He's gone. Hey, this is one for Biggie anyway. Look at that. It's here. Mmm. Oh, Won't even throw with tassels. Might even put that on the back of this sofa. Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. I'm a lucky boy. That's for you. That's for you, Biggie. Right, this is for Shay Shay. <gasps> okay. This is from your mother-in-law. You do like that toy, don't you, Biggie? Oh. Oh, I need to get my phone to record this cuteness. It's a catnippy snow. Well, that's it then. We, we won't give you any more presents, Biggie. <laughs> wow. I'd be happy with just that toy. Yeah, I think you would be. Happy boy. Okay. Um, do you want to... Oh, just save that one till the end. That one's for Biggie. This one's for you, Biggie. Is this one easy to get into? Mm, a little bit. Too soon to say. 
Oh, they're, they're little Christmassy treats. Oh, cute. <laughs> I think he's having a happy Christmas. Mm. Can I give him some you now? can give him some now. Don't go too mad because he's going to have lots of other treats from Santa, I think. You can have a tiny bit. He's just trying to put his head in the bag. Uh oh. I dropped one, I'm sorry. That satisfies the crunch test. He's purring. He is now. purring. Oh, <laughs> got hit on the head, didn't you, Biggie? I'm sorry. I've got like four from my mum, I think. Should I do one from you? Uh, sure. Pick one for me. Okay, um, I actually don't remember any of them. <laughs> that does not surprise me. I can't remember which is which, so just pick whichever you want. Well, I'm tr intrigued by this one. I'm trying to make it a little Christmas crack. I don't think it did very well, though. I can see that. <laughs> Are you going to help me now, Biggie? Oh, somebody's going to enjoy this wrapping paper, I think. I went with red because I know it's like your favourite colour, so... Oh, that's cute. And it's Christmassy as well. Well, there's mm -hmm. a tag. To Elaine. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's actually for someone else. I'm sorry, give it back to me. Oh, 100 centimetres, I think. Oh, 100 date ideas. Mm. Is this a hint from somebody? No, it's not a hint. Yeah. I just thought it was a cute little poster. It is cute. Take a dance class. Visit a planetarium. I, I, I actually didn't see that. Mm. I just thought up for my own. It's that amazing. Go zip lining. Are you going to go zip lining with me? Sure. Visit an aquarium, which I, w I guess I would do for you, but. I don't approve of it. Yeah, I wouldn't make you. Go out for brunch. Go on a weekend road trip. Okay, very cool. Okay, thank you very much, my love. Mm -hmm. We'll put that up somewhere prominent. And then next time when we need ideas, there we go. And you can scratch them off, they're very cute. Yes. Okay, this is a Shea Shea okay. present. This is the present that I stole your um, paints for to write your name on it. Oh. Yes. I see. Yeah. Cute. Biggie's off back for his toy over there. Why did I put on thick nails? I don't know. You're going to have this all throughout Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm. I mean, this is good in a way because this is how I wrap my eBay parcels. You know, the easy way to do it is to find the end of the tape and peel the end of the tape off. Kevin, do that. So, this isn't for you. I think I know what this is. Oh my god. I'm so glad I didn't buy one. After you got your one, I was like, I'm gonna buy myself one. And yeah. I I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, that was the last one they had. So oh it's the same god. one as the one that's plugged into the Wii, the black I one. I love that one. Yeah. And inside, I don't know if I put any batteries in there for you, but that's I put some, I think I I some. Put some cables in there that you can use. AA? Yeah. yeah. I got plenty of batteries as well. That's so nice. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That's so cute. You got this. Oh my god, he looks like him when he's old. Yeah. That's gonna be you. That's his second like... Christmas card. <laughs> he's like, he's like, are you showing me a mirror? Oh my god, it even has Biggie Claws on there, that's so cute. Oh yeah, I remember now, I got it customised. Show me down? Yeah. Okay, happy Christmas, Biggie boy. He's like, it's got dreamies now. You're the best friend I've ever had and I love you so very much. I hope Santa brings you all of the dreamies in the world because you've been a very good boy as always. Hmm, has he? Hmm, has I don't he know. Um, have lots of fun chasing baubles and ripping down our decorations and don't forget to give Shay and I lots of cuddles. Oh, cute. Love Dane and Shay. Oh my god, yeah, I wrote in this. Yeah. I forgot I wrote in it. Very cute. Go. Okay. So Biggie, this is a present from Santa <coughs> Shay. Are you ready? Yes, come and help me. I think you know what's in this already, don't you? See <gasps> Biggie, it's got a little cat on it. Are you ready? Sorry, am I, am I unwrapping it too slowly for you? <laughs> Season Ooh, of goodies. It. Oh, we open here. Look, we open here at the back. That's my boiler. Okay, Daddy, quickly give you some dreamies, and then he's gonna go fix the boiler. Don't look at me. Look at the dreamies. You ready, Big Bigs? These are from Santa Shea Shea. 
to put in the bag there, but I've got some in my hand, look. Hey! What's in Daddy's hand? Okay, I'll put those down now. I'm gonna quickly fit. Turn the boiler on. Yeah, this one was easy to get into. Yay! I think it was the first one I wrapped. Yeah, it was the first one I wrapped. Oh my god, I know what this is. Oh my god, I forgot all about this. No way. Oh, oh my god, I literally forgot all about this. What you got there? Simmer's work, <gasps> cookbook. Yeah. Oh, how exciting. Are you going to cook me some in? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it even has little pictures. That's so cool. I'm trying to see if I can find any that I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, my foot's gone to sleep. My foot has gone to sleep. <laughs> These are my favourite ones in the game. Oh, those are cute. Yeah, so good. Yeah. You have to be in a playful mood to have them, but they're so nice. Yeah. I'm gonna make every single one of these. I hope you know. When when you're so hungry, she's forgot she's got other presents to open. Oh, the floaty heart cookies. Oh, those look cute. So they look good. tasty as well. Oh, there are some more around the back there. In fact, there's another one for you that I've forgotten about. Okay. What is this? What is this? Oh, I think it's for the garden. Oh, that's so cute. It's loud. Oh, oh. broke it. <laughs> she doesn't wrap as well as I do, obviously. Oh, the perfect treat for feathered friends, a sunflower glass feeder. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. It can also be used as a bird bath. Nice. The small ones are the hardest, though. Yeah. Do you need some help? Mm. I can do this. Yeah. Or can I? Now you should know what this is. Mm. Should I? Yeah. You're going to see why when you get in. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, I think I know what it is. Yeah. Is it, um, what's it called? The, the thingies? Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Delicious. Mm. Well, well, I would eat it. Oh no. I've gone stuck again. Slowly but surely. <laughs> I think you want to pull. Pull that tape off because that tape is what's holding it, I think. Yay! Muscles are. Oh, oh, so strong. Look at that flexing. Someone's been going to the gym. Mm. Oh God, it's so hard. That's what she said. I knew you were going to say that. I'm trying to keep it family friendly. I need no, to help again. No such thing as family friendly on my YouTube channel. You just need to pull the tape off. You keep saying that, but... See, now the tape's off. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so surprised right now. What flavour is it? It is gingerbread. Ooh. Oh, that smells so good. Ooh. Gonna go nice with your new incense station. I don't eat it. Don't eat it. Dick food coming soon. <laughs> uh, yeah. Muscles meat. I think this might feel like a, a board game. Mm -hmm. More solar lights. Ooh. I mean, you can never have too many mm. solar lights. If you can, I already have too many <laughs> solar lights. These are coloured as well. Look, colour changing even. Cute. Awesome. Lovely. Thank you, mother. Ah, you stuck my toe. Oh, is this some more? <laughs> Some more solar lights. These are solar string lights, so those can go on the fence. Cute. Very nice, thank you. Awesome. Oh, yeah. I've upstaged me. Yeah, may have upstaged Santa Shay Shay. This is to keep you going till your birthday in October, mate. Wow! See that? You are so lucky. That is why the box is boring, because this is the stuff they send to suppliers. So this is what you can normally buy. Mm -hmm. It's just we happen to have got a box of three of these. Sweet catnip. Yeah. 
Oh, is there? He's gonna go crazy. He has one, uh, one catnip pack. Nice. Oh yeah, the free catnip flavor. flavor. Mm -hmm. well, that one says to a playful cat. That one says to a perfect cat. And what does that one say? What is it? To uh, to the best cat. Uh. Right, Biggie, do you want do you want to open one and see what's in there? Like in the catnip one. Yeah. Okay. I didn't I didn't wrap those, so you know, can't, can't blame me. You. Jinx. There's 11 packs in each of these, so this. Oh, I see, there's tape, that's why. 33 packs of Dreamy. Plus 5 packs from Shay Shay. No, the, the catnip ones, he might not even like them to be honest. I've, really? given, I've given them him before. Mm, I should have put it down. Uh, I guess, yeah. He does still have one present left as well. I don't know if it's actually one. It's the nails. Awesome, okay. Um, do you wanna, are these all for me then? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go for this one. I'm trying to remember what they are before you open them. Ooh. Oh, that sounds good. A hotel chocolat selection box. Mm. Mm, classic 70% nut milk, mint chili. Maybe. Yeah. You can get the chili one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, there's this in there as well. Who's that for? Oh, that's also for you, I think. Okay. To Elaine, yeah. It's not Elaine, okay. Jesus. Okay, well, I'll open this as well because I have three left and you've got one biggie and your main present. Hmm. Which we're going to do at the end. Which hopefully she likes. But she might hate, I don't know. I'm very curious now. Mm. <laughs> nice. The Seven Secrets of Awakening the Highly Effective Four Hour Giant today. The gang writes a self help book. Mm. Charlie, Mac, Dennis, Sweet Dee, and Frank. That's actually exciting. For a second, I was like, why is she going with this weird self help <laughs> book? It's like you need it, actually. Yeah. Oh, it's got, it's got the reverse Dennis system in it. Ooh. It does? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Don't use it on me, please. Okay. Well, Unless you already have, then. Sweet Dee puts it there so it's probably fine yeah. awesome thank you very much mm. we've been watching a lot of always sunny together have they mentioned that in an episode mm. i was gonna say no as far as i'm aware i didn't yeah. even realize i had one to be honest yeah, yeah. no uh. cool okay <laughs> hey biggie come back because this is for you this is your last present biggie the last one ever yeah your entire life come on I think he's full. Yeah, he's done with us. We fed him, he's okay now. That's a shame, because this one's your best one, Biggie. Come I'll on. I'll have it instead though. Yeah. So. Oh my God. Tasty <sighs> sticks. That is insane. What's this, Biggs? Oh my God. I'm not gonna be able to refuse any of these things. No, that's it. Infinite tasty sticks. Where's he gone? He's there. Yeah. Oh, he's over like a shot. Which one do you want? I think he's chosen that one. I suppose you can have one hmm. and I'll have the rest. Yeah. When I bought them, I think they were 72. Wow. But I think he's already eaten quite a few of them, haven't you, Biggs? Cute. What flavour is that? Beef with rabbit, apparently. Mm. Right, okay, I'll open the last two from you and then you open this again. Oh. Sorry, baby. To Elaine. I like this Elaine. Though. Yeah. No, it's, it's cursive, that's why. Alright, how do I get in? <laughs> My foot's kind of going to sleep as well. But... Oh! 
Dobby Club, what is it? Would you like to play Capitalism? Peepopoly. Oh, I am excited about this. We play Peepopoly soon. <laughs> that is a solid choice. I don't think anyone's going to be able to get me a better present than this. <gasps> really? Yeah. yeah. Cute. Yeah. I mean, the Always Sunny one is good. Mm. The Peepopoly. Amazing. When I saw it arrive, I was like, I just want to give it to you now. Yeah. I was like so excited. That's amazing. Well, I, I love my peep show as well. I've been thinking about getting a peep show tattoo, but all the ones I've seen are kind of shit, to be honest. Yeah. To Dane. Oh, it says Dane on this one. I love you. That was for Dane, actually. Uh, yeah, I thought so. Right. I like the um, wrapping paper. Yeah. I like candy cane. Cute. Oh, wow. Cool. Where did you even get this from? Um, I actually can't remember. I got it a few months ago, I think. Yeah, that's awesome. I can't actually tell who all of the, the signatures are. <laughs> I get those two. Oh, we've got David Mitchell. Uh, that's Robert Webb. That's um, Patterson Joseph or whatever his name is, who plays Johnson. I can't read that. Is he Stutz? <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my <laughs> totally can't feel my left leg. Oh. Can you sit down? No, it's alright. I'll stand up like this. I've got it now. Don't fall into the tree. No, I, well, I almost fell into the bookcase, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, I wrote a long letter, apparently. I don't remember what I wrote in it. No, what? What did I write? Should I say? Yeah. Um, wait, let me just read a film. I can always edit it out. It's pronounced Reykjavik. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah. Oh my god. So what you got? I got Spidey's Hell. <gasps> to Reykjavik. Yes, that is how you say it. That's how I said it the first time, yeah. actually. Oh and hopefully god. a hotel. This is so nice. Is that a hotel? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. They might have a hotel cat though. I think I remember seeing that. Oh my god, that. please, that'd be so cute. Well, it's in Euros, so that's a clue. Yeah. Would you like me to tell you where it is? Yeah. It is the capital of Iceland. Is it? Hmm. I, I knew that, actually. Yeah. yeah. I knew that. And you know I said that we might be able to tick something off that's on my bucket list. Uh -huh. So we're going at the right time of year to maybe see the aurora. What? Mm. That's crazy. Yeah. So we're not there for super long, we're there for like 48 hours. You're inviting me to be in camp out? Oh yeah, I got you a ticket to that as well. Oh, what? That's so cute. I'm guessing you've got yours too, it's like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. So those are your, those are your big prezzies. That's so amazing. Vegan camp out is kind of more like... A, it's partly birthday for you as well. Oh, thank you. Because it's, because it's going to be, it's like a mid-July. Mm -hmm. But they were doing, um, you get an early bird discount for booking oh in advance. Oh my god, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to Iceland. Oh my god, I'm so happy, that's so crazy. Shay asked me the other day, she was like, yeah, but it's still in the UK that we're going to, isn't it? Because she knew <laughs> she knew we were going away somewhere. And I was like, I can't say. I'm glad you didn't tell me, this is so cool. Yeah, so now you know how, how hard it has been for me to keep quiet about this for like yeah, two I'm months. Yeah, I'm really surprised that you didn't tell me. I haven't told anyone, because oh, I was like, if I tell anybody, I'm going to start telling people, mm -hmm. and then it's going to be even harder. So even like my mum and my family don't know yet. Oh my god. So this now I can so tell amazing. them. Thank yeah. you so much. Did I do good? Yeah. Dinner is served. It looks really good. Yeah. Well, crackers and stuff. Yo, hello everybody. It is currently just coming up to 10 past 11 on, uh, what is it, Wednesday the 21st of December 2022. It is the solstice today, so that's very good. So the days are going to start getting longer again now. Uh, yesterday, Shay and I had our Christmas together, which was very nice. So I got some really cool stuff, actually. Uh, let's see. Can't quite see, but on the back of the door, she got me a list of dates to go on. She got me downstairs a very cool signed Mitchell and Webb. Um, poster and then where are we up there somewhere that that is Peepopoly so that is Peep Show themed Monopoly which is very cool because Peep Show is one of my favorite shows 
Um, I got her a, uh, you've seen all of this anyway, but I got her a Sims cookbook and some, uh, a lava lamp and a few other bits. And then our main gift is tickets. So we are going to go to Reykjavik in Iceland in February. And then we are going to the vegan camp out next year in July. So all very exciting stuff. Food was great. And then we watched Black Christmas, which was pretty good. So yeah, she stayed over last night and then headed back this evening. Uh, her aunt picked her up on her way back from church. So, um, yes, she's now going to Bristol tomorrow for Christmas with her family. I am going to see my family on Friday, and I have my cleaner coming tomorrow. I finished reading A Sense of Wonder by John Wyndham, Murray Leinster, and Jack Williamson. This was an overall strong 3.5 out of 5. It has three novellas in it. So it has Exiles on Asperus by John Wyndham, which was a 3.5, a strong one. Um, and that was about, basically, Martian prisoners of war escape on board a convict ship and take over it. Then we have The Mole Pirate by Murray Leinster, that was about a ship that can like go through solid matter basically and it gets stolen by uh, a bad guy, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, and then The Moon Era by Jack Williamson, so the Murray Leinster one was a, a probably a 4 out of 5 and then the Jack Williamson one, The Moon Era, was a weak, weaker 3.5 out of 5, well middle of the road. Um, and that's a tale about a man who takes a trip to the moon basically. Um, and it's kind of notable because it was written way before the moon landings, you know? So yeah, overall a 3.5 out of 5. And now I'm reading Peter Kamen's in by Herman Hess. Probably a weak 3.5 out of 5. It's pretty similar to The Prodigy in terms of its themes and subject matters. It just follows a fairly regular young man, like through life and shit. Uh, it was Hess's first novel as well, and I think you can kind of tell that. It is still very well written, but it's not as good as some of his other stuff. But I am enjoying. Um, and then next up, I guess I'm going to read Air of Caladan by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. Uh, the final of the new June books. So very exciting. So that is where I'm at. Hello, it's your blurry boy. It is me. It is 25 to 11 on Thursday the 22nd of December. Uh, my cleaner didn't come today. She was supposed to, but she didn't because her mum is ill. My chair's squeaking. Oh yeah, the wheel fell off my chair. So I've just tried gluing it back in and we're going to see how that goes. But yeah, her mum is ill, so she's not able to clean, um, you know, which sucks for me and sucks for her, but it is what it is. What are you going to do? Um, I have done most of my tidying and stuff and most of my packing for tomorrow. So I still, I just need to have a shower in a bit. I need to set up the biggie cameras as well because I have some like cameras that I can check from my phone while I'm away and my friend Dave's going to check on him every day as well. Um, Yes, I finished reading uh, Peter Kamen's in by Herman Hess. It was like a strong three out of five. It was just okay. Um, not too much to say about it, really. It was basically like version one of The Prodigy, but The Prodigy was a lot better, but then it did come later. Cam Peter Kamen's in was his first novel. Um, and I'm now reading the, G the Air of Caladan by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. Um, so, yes, I've literally just started it. It's going to be my Christmas book. I'm going to take that, and I'm probably going to take... Um, Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir, and maybe the Always Sunny in Philadelphia book that, my, that Shay got me. Um, those are probably going to be the books I'll take to Tamworth to stay at my mum's. So that is where I'm at. I don't have anything else really to update you on. Yo, it is me, ya yeah boy. It is 20 past 11 on the evening of Friday the 30th of December. Shay is in the bedroom. Say hi, Shay. There we go. She says, hey, she's watching. You watching TikTok? Yeah, she's been playing some Wii. Um, we've been doing a jigsaw that's down there. I'll show you when it's done. We're hopefully going to frame it, although the frame's kind of falling apart a bit. Um, it's been mad. Obviously, I didn't update you over Christmas. Uh, I, I failed a bit. I did take my camera to my mum's house, and then I realised I hadn't charged my battery, and the only time I actually took my camera with me was to the Christmas Day dinner. So, hey-ho. But yes, I mean... Yeah, well, I went to Tamworth on the 23rd. It was okay. The journey wasn't too bad. 24th, I met my dad and my family on my dad's side for uh, for dinner in a pub. And I don't know why I'm going blurry. Camera's going mad. And that was okay. Um, but there was drama, but I wasn't involved in it. Um, basically, my stepbrother and my stepsister were getting on each other's nerves. And then my stepsister left. And my stepmom was like, Oh, you're ruining Christmas for everybody. But it was Christmas Eve, so it was fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was all right. And then um, Christmas Day, I went, uh, we got up early, opened presents, went to my uh, grand's house with my mum, um, my granddad, and we went out for dinner, which was nice. Um, 
being vegan, I only had like one set of choices for everything, but I did eat all of it. Um, my gran hated the dessert, and then when the guy came, the waiter came over at the end, he was like, how was your dessert? And she was like, oh, it was terrible. And then he laughed because he thought she was joking, and then she started complaining about it. It did look a bit shit, to be fair. And then we went home, and then she was being very transphobic, and they had GB News on, so that was weird. Uh, and then went back home. And then Boxing Day, my granddad, my mum's dad came round, so that was nice to see him. And then I headed back on the 27th. It was fucking horrible. I'm not gonna bore you with details about the trains, but there was train strikes and cancellations and all goodness knows what else, and it was grim. But I made it back. And then Shay came over on, did you come over on the 28th? Um, I'm not sure. And I, I don't remember either. But anyway, Shay's come over and um, we've been hanging out. I've been getting some work done because I'm skint and I need the money. Um, I have some books to update you on. Uh, Christmas wise, I've got some really nice stuff. I've got some new clothes. I've got some grey tracksuit bottoms. She likes my grey tracksuit bottoms. How do I look in my grey trackies? Amazing. Thank you. Um, so I got those. I got, I got a couple of Amazon vouchers, which was nice. My mum got me some stuff for the garden. Some nice food and stuff. I brought a load back in my case as well. My case has actually collapsed, so I'm getting rid of that. And yes, so now, oh, I had a client call today. Um, and I think that's about all i got for you. So I'm going to update you on the books. Um, also, I should mention, uh, and Shay doesn't know this, but... Um, I, a new a new anthology has been released today called Twas the Fright Before Christmas in Deathlyhem, an anthology of holiday horrors for charity. And I have got a story in there called Black Solstice. So the Kindle version of that is out today. I'll link to it below. The Kindle version is out. By the time you're watching this, I imagine the print version is out as well. 17 authors and it's for an AIDS charity. So we're giving aid to AIDS, which is always good. So that is out today. I've had my uh, Boys in Blue, which is light fold number four. I've had that back from Pam, my editor, so I need to go through and do all my edits for that. Um, yes, I think that's a bit about it. And I'm hit. I'm about 53,000 words into Grebo's now, which is my current work in pro pro progress, which took me ages to get any traction in it. And now I've been whizzing through it. So I'm hoping probably by the end of January that might be uh, the first draft of that might be done I'll be ready to start writing something else oh I did also do a lot of short story and poetry writing while I was away to um, submit to competitions and stuff which is one of the reasons I'm skint because I spent like 200 quid entering writing competitions um, but even then like it's like I entered probably I don't know 20 or something and if I rank in like the top three of any of them I kind of make my entry money back so I figure it's worth a go, and then also it's good for marketing and all that shit. We'll see. I'll update you on how that goes. So, books-wise. All right, well, when I left... Here we go, here's the stack. When I left, I was reading uh, The Heir of Caladan by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. So this is the third in a, the new June trilogy, um, which I did enjoy. Probably a four out of five. Uh, didn't do a review of it in the end, although I kind of wish I had now. do wish I'd tabbed it out, because it did... Um, I don't know, they, with these trilogies, there's always like a lull in the middle, and then towards the end they pick back up again, and most of the way through, pretty much all the way through, I thought this was like the weakest final book in any of these trilogies, and then the last 50 pages or so was really good, because it pretty much cuts off just before the events of the original Dune series, so it did a really nice job of... Um, you know, setting all of that stuff up. But yeah, overall it was a four out of five. Um, I read Completely Boo Boo, uh, Anna, Anna and Frogger by Anoukra Carr. She's a French author. These are children's stories, basically very humorous. I read the whole thing in the bath. Um, these are all the English translations, but I've actually read a few of these in French as well. Um, but I think this is either the complete collection or one of the complete collections or something. But yeah, it was good. Probably a strong 3.5 out of five. I read The Seven Secrets of Awakening the Highly Effective Four Hour Giant Today by Charlie Mac, Dennis, Sweet D and Frank. So this is The Gang from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Um, and this is a humorous self-help type parody spoof book. It's kind of difficult to uh, classify it. I classified it as both fiction and non-fiction when I did my review of it. And that was a gift from Shay. So thank you, Shay. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, so that was probably like a 4 out of 5 as well. I do think it was pro- oh my camera's picking up their faces. Um, I do think it was probably written by people, like not by the people who do the show. Um, but they did a pretty good job, it just didn't quite feel as authentic as maybe it could have, you know. 
but um, yeah, still pretty good. Um, and now I'm pretty much all the way through. It's actually a Sue there, but I'm reading Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. So this is his third novel. Um, I've read and enjoyed The Martian and Artemis. And this one's probably his best so far. I think this shows that he's kind of evolved as a writer. Um, and yeah, it's just it's just pretty well done, fam, you know? Um, yeah, it does have that thing that I don't always like, which it's got like, um, it's using, um, not euthanasia, amnesia, that one. <laughs> it's using amnesia to kind of tell the story. So the main character's kind of slowly remembering things um, he's met some aliens and he's trying to save Earth. It's got some really cool concepts in it as well, like they're, because of the, this existential threat to humanity, it's cooling the planet. So actually they're trying to find a way to accelerate the speed of global warming and they've detonated a load of nukes in Antarctica. So that was kind of cool. But uh, yes, that's what I'm currently reading. That's probably going to be a 4 out of 5 as well. Um, I would love you and leave you, but I may as well keep going with this vlog now. I guess tomorrow is Saturday and it's New Year's Eve. Sunday will be New Year's Day, so that'll be a good time to end it and start a new one on the 1st of January. So keep them peeled. All right. Hello, everybody. It is 21.43 on Saturday, the 31st of December, 2022. Last day of 2022. Shay is doing some art. Can I show you? Mm, okay. Yeah. Shay is over here. Hey. Hi. And here is your painting -y stuff. And you're starting to do some art. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I have been reading some more of that Andy Weir book, Project Hail Mary. Pretty good, almost finished now. Um, on course for 4 out of 5 still. I think next I'm going to be reading part 1 of June, the graphic novel. I also have a couple of more books that came in the post to haul today. And obviously it's New Year's Eve, so we are, we're going to have a kiss at midnight, aren't we, Shay? Mm -hmm. We're going to slobber all over each other's faces, yeah. Um, so we'll obviously record that for you guys, obviously. obviously. Um, I think that's about it. Not much to update you on. Oh, we've play, been playing some Wii, um, because who is the uh, Wii golf champion? Me. Yeah. Not happy about that. Happy New Do you not like the fireworks, Biggie? No one said Happy New Year, fuck all everyone. Hello everybody, it is um, 11.15pm on Sunday the 1st of January 2023. Can't believe it's 2023, although everyone's going to be saying that. I have a scab on my ear, let me see if I can... Sorry, that's a bit gross. Um, we, well, I went to bed about 4, I think Shay didn't fall asleep to about 11 uh, this morning. Um, and then we woke up at like 7 p.m. and we went to Weatherspoons, so we had some food. And I'm now feeling a bit food comery. Shay headed back earlier. Her aunt is back from holiday tomorrow, so I think she wants to get things ready for that. Um, I'm still reading um, Andy Weir. I've, I'm basically like 20 pages from the end, so I've included it in my best books of last year because it's going to be hard for it to fuck that up. I suppose I can always edit it out if, if it comes to it as well. I am actually filming my favourites in a minute as well. I'm going to try and crack on and do a bit of work, a bit of productivity. And, uh, oh, I can show you the latest of Shay's painting as well. Here we go. So here we go. It's coming along nicely. Very cool. Um, but yes, that seems like a good place to love you and leave you. So thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you've enjoyed this week's reading vlog. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.